What's up guys? So today let's continue with more Star Trek pinball. Um, last video I did Deep Space Nine. So for this video let's do the Star Trek Discovery table. But I just want to say like look how many pinball tables there are in Pinball FX. 120 tables. That's pretty crazy. And I just want to say I think Zen Studios has come a long way from uh, when Pinball FX was on Epic to now on Steam uh, as well as Pinball M. So there's so much pinball to be played and that's still like crazy to me. Um, you know, how many tables? I mean, just look at this. Different genres, you know, South Park, different you got the old Williams tables that I originally loved and I still do, but gosh, there's so much to play here. Zen Originals, oh my gosh. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's do this one. But I just wanted to point that out. So whenever you feel like you uh, don't have any pinball to play, just remember there are 120 pinball tables on Pinball FX as of now. And hopefully more to come. Whoa, I'm liking those pop bumpers. Oh, look at that little thing, triangle thing. It's like a rotating spot target and then you have like uh these like the spot targets are like have some like lighting around them almost like the ideas on this table you could see replicated in real life too which i think is an awesome way to kind of look at pinball you know you can look at what can be done on digital pinball and how can you translate it to real life pinball There's a kick-out hole there. Oh, so it looks like the kick-out hole kicks out into that ramp. But it looks like the ramp has a diverter. Pretty funky stuff. So let's go here. But let me make sure I've made this. Um, I want to make it big. Yeah, dot matrix is large. So, all right. Can I can r hardly read that, but... Uh, let's go here. <laughs> view 2 is my preferred view. View 2 and manual are my views. Whoa, look at that. Whoa! I was so, like, taken away by the uh, little graphics there. Look at this, too. Look, see this, how when you click the right flipper, there's, like, like a gobble hole there, and the a flipper thing opens it. Look at that. That's insane. Plus you have another uh, upper mini play field on the right. Let's go. So while this table, you know, it looks... Okay, look at this. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Definitely still get the Star Wars vibes, but I think that's because of the theme. Can't really escape it. Whoa, look at this. The background here. Whoa, that's cool. So if I did you gotta leave it open. Kind of reminds me of how um, a certain shot works in uh, that Gottlieb table. Gladiator, I think it's called Gladiators. A little bit. You can see? You open it up. Whoa! I didn't know that it would kick out there. Did you see that? Oh, come on! Not right down the middle. Loop the ball around the central bumper. I'll have to read the skill shot later. So I know some of you guys were kind of wondering how different skill shots are done. I would I would just say just um, read the table guide first. For me, I usually like to find stuff out as I play. But if there's something that I really want to know, I'll look at the table guide. You know, when I play pinball tables... Uh, the new ones, or I'm not familiar with them. I usually just play for fun. 
But if I want to try to get a good score, I might read the guide sometimes. Or if I'm in a tournament. But I never take pinball, like, so seriously like that. <laughs> but I have a lot of respect for people who do, who really, you know, who dig deep into the pinball table itself. And who know the rules inside and out. I mean, I know the rules for Will Nelly <laughs> because they're really easy. But uh, for those of you who really take the time to to know a table, that's I give you guys credit because there's a tables like this have a lot of rules and nuances that you know <coughs> the average pr player would look over. Let's go again here. This table is called the Discovery One. I'll save. Visually, it looks decent, um, you know. But I think where it shines for this table is the um, the des overall design of like how you can control the flipper that leads into the gobble hole. The way the kickout holes feed into different other kickout holes. See, like this? I love that. Wait! The flipper just turned around. Like, it used to open. Oh, wait, look at that. You can open it from the left or the right. You see that? That mini flipper? See this? I, w I was just thinking the right, but look at this. That's that's so cool and trippy. How one flipper does that. Oh my gosh. See how I just figured that out? Like I originally thought it just opened up one way. But that right there is part of what I call the pinball discovery. You know, playing through playing, you just kind of figure things out. I mean, that's how it worked, you know, in old school games before cheat codes, right? Before, like, strategy guides were big. That's how you normally would figure things out on, you know, pinball tables. I mean, not pinball tables, but games in general. Oh. You also still have the kind of the half and half, like the left side of the table seems to be like the bluer. Whoa! And then the right side has like browns and reds. Not sure if that's intentional, but. Well, guys, thank you for watching me play Star Trek Pinball Discovery. Um, I just wanted to showcase these tables um, because for those of you who are still deciding whether or not to purchase them yourself so uh, don't look at my score though <laughs> okay so I have got one more table on this uh, Star Trek pack to showcase and that will be next so till next time catch you guys later take care